Velocity is actually a pretty well-made RSVP application. The average reader reads it about 300 words a minute. You can import Pocket, Instapaper, and a couple other applications. You'll notice that I'm importing my Pocket reads, and I bookmark a ton of stuff. So this is going to be really nice for me. It imports the content into the reader and shows you the center of the word. I like this actually a little bit better than the red marker. I haven't really gotten comfortable with that. You can go to websites like your favorite website, jasonhacks.com, and just save the content in the reader. And you'll notice that you can go through and save multiple pages and then come back and review that later. So let's add a new site like USA Today. And it works just like a regular browser. You're going to see all the information you normally see, including requests for current location, etc. I'm going to save this. Uh, you do have normal navigation. And of course, you can share from here just like any other uh, browser, iOS app that connects with the share feature. We'll put one more web app in here, one more web address. Uh, let's go to php.net. This is a site about PHP and is jam-packed with information. I love to import the entire PHP manual and speed through it. So let's go back and look at the things we've saved, like our PHP URL. And this is actually a really nice reading experience. We can also choose different themes like the dark theme, which may be easier on your eyes. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's go to about 600 words a minute. It's about double the average adult speed of reading. And you can see news actually works really well like this. So go down to settings and you can see here we have similar access, change it to save you. Speed this up to about 900 words a minute, about three times the average adult speed of reading. And we can go back and visit the pre-saved content. This is content we've imported into the app. Centering the words and speeding through them quickly. I like that. It's a pretty good application.